Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Awesome Build. Where this week we're just going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to paint your Nerf gun to make it look like a cool sci-fi gun. In the future I'm going to be doing a more detailed tutorial on how to customize and paint some cheap toy guns or Nerf guns or you know some cheap guns that you can find at like Goodwill and stuff like that. Um, this is essentially the same thing, it's kind of an introductory I guess. I got this at a Goodwill for about three bucks and um, I think you know, it's probably it's a battery operator or something so it probably doesn't work. Clip is missing um, but for my purposes uh, it's just fine because I'm probably going to add a new clip or something like that to it. I'm going to change it up a little bit. Um, I don't want it to look exactly like a painted black painted Nerf gun. Uh, we will probably add some elements to it maybe uh, from other pieces of guns or something and we're going to do a quick paint job on it. Yeah, so this won't be like a hero prop. This will be sort of like dressing up your background characters. Yeah. It's not gonna be in a lot of close-ups or under a lot of scrutiny. You just need some cool looking sci-fi guns to dress up your background characters with. It's basically what this is gonna be. We're just gonna take some cheap guns you can get at Goodwill, paint it using some Krylon Color Master. Um, so I'm gonna just spray paint. We're not gonna do any airbrushing or anything like that. And like I said, we might add a few elements to it to kind of make it look a little bit different so it doesn't look like a Nerf gun. What I'm gonna start off doing is sanding the whole thing down. I'm gonna uh, obviously sand off the Nerf logo on there and any of the raised leather lettering. It also has kind of a raised pattern on it that I wanna, I wanna sand that's down smooth. You don't have to sand it if you don't want to. I mean, if you wanna get rid of the logo and stuff like that, I would recommend it, but you can also put like a plate or something like that over it to hide it um, if you don't feel like sanding the whole thing down. But if you do sand it down, it actually helps the paint stick to it a lot better. So uh, that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm just gonna be sanding it down real quick with my palm sander, and then we're going to mask off some of the areas that we want. Uh, so the gray areas, I think I'm gonna keep gray. And then I'm going to mask off those areas, paint the rest of it a like flat black, and then mask off some other parts. And then I think we'll go with some kind of a dark green or something for some of the other elements to make it look kind of military. And then we'll weather it a bit using some uh, cheap kind of techniques. So let's get started. All right, so we got our base coat on it and um, it's looking pretty good. If you wanted to, you could probably stop right here um, and just do some highlights and stuff like that on it um, to kind of weather it a little bit. But uh, I want to add a little bit of color to it uh, just so it's not all black. So I'm going to mask off uh, some of the other elements of it and then hit it with a, I think like an olive green or a dark green to kind of give it sort of a military look, I guess. I also think I want to add uh, something to the, the end of it, the barrel, to make it look a little bit different. I've got this barrel of, uh, from another cheap gun that I got at a Goodwill, but by adding 
Uh, yeah, one other element to it, it'll kind of give it a, a different look or whatever. Uh, just so that right off the bat you don't recognize it as a Nerf gun in the background, if you add some other elements to it to kind of disguise it a little bit. So for this piece, I'm actually going to uh, take the screws out and take it in half, because I think I might add something to the inside of the barrel. Uh, it's kind of hollowed out there, but um, yeah. So instead of dry brushing to give some wear and tear to the gun and kind of raise out some of those uh, metallic elements and stuff like that and make the, the edges and stuff like that look worn and used, um, I'm not going to do any dry brushing. Yeah, I'm just actually going to use this metallic gray or metallic silver Sharpie marker um, to just highlight those elements. It's kind of a quick, easy, kind of cleaner way uh, to do it. All right, so this is what we're left with after a few hours of a quick paint job and adding a few other elements to it. Uh, the handle here is actually just from an airsoft gun that I had that was busted. Um, so it actually slides down there really nice. The magazine is just your standard magazine, um, Nerf magazine, but I added this metal box to the bottom of it to kind of bulk it up a little bit. And again, just again to give it a different look and actually adds a little bit of weight to it too. So from a distance, I think it, it will pull off the illusion that it looks like a cool sci-fi gun. And like I said, in the future we will be doing uh, another tutorial on uh, taking an actual toy gun or Nerf gun or a squirt gun or something and customizing it and painting it in detail to really sell it as kind of a hero prop. 
uh, if you're doing a movie or something like that. But again, this is just a quick how-to using some over-the-counter spray paint and your gray Sharpie marker. <laughs> and you can make a, a pretty decent uh, either cosplay or movie prop um, in a few hours. So uh, yeah, and like I said, the gun itself only cost me about three or four dollars. Um, I think it was actually only three bucks. And then a couple cans of spray paint and the barrel or whatever was part of another gun that was, again, only about three or four dollars when I originally purchased it. I never spend more than like four or five bucks tops for any of these uh, prop guns and stuff like that. When I go to Goodwill or to some kind of a resale shop, uh, there's always like toy guns and Nerf guns and stuff there. And they're generally super cheap because they're either busted or they're missing parts or something. That works fine for my purposes because I don't need them to shoot. I just need them to look like movie props. So um, if that's what you're looking for and that's what your goal, if you need to do it, if you're doing an indie film, or if you're doing something low budget, this is a really cheap way to dress up your background characters and stuff or even your main characters and give them some believable looking props uh, for very little money. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, found it somewhat entertaining and or informative and hope it inspires you guys to go out and build and make some stuff of your own. All right, guys, well, thanks so much again for watching. Uh, don't forget to look me up on Facebook at James Jim J. Raz. And as always, you guys rock. I'll see you next time.